Hey man, say man, what's good you two? It's your boy Quez the Plug, man. I'm back into the bang, man. Say we got stats that prove Michael Jordan is the GOAT, bro. We already know I, we already know Jordan the GOAT, bro. So why not watch the video to see some more stats to even to keep further on the, the conversation between him and whoever else, bro? Because the gap between one and two is like this. I ain't gonna lie. Jordan, he way surpassed everybody that ever played. I ain't gonna lie, man. Before we get into it, make sure y'all like comment subscribe man let's do it bro another jordan banger jordan won six championships make sure you know what you want me to react to next i got y'all bro i'm gonna start doing some different players though i've been spamming the jordan and bird is i ain't gonna lie bro time to start doing some more different players bro <laughs> my bad six finals mvp we all know michael jordan won six championships six finals mvps and five mm. regular season mvps but here's some of the craziest stats and records that you don't know about jordan when it comes to getting buckets, nobody did it better than Jordan. That's why many consider him the GOAT. Jordan led the NBA in scoring for a record 10 times. And with 30.1 points per game, MJ... I ain't gonna lie, bro. 10 scoring titles in 15 years is crazy. Especially when you think about it. He got all 10 on the Bulls, so it was really like 10 in 13 years, bro. You telling me 10 out of 13 years you led the league in scoring, bro? Like, it, it hit different, bro. MJ definitely won the party. Him, him, KD, and Wilt. And Kareem and LeBron, those are the top five best scorers ever, bro. You really think about it. You got to put LeBron in there just because he all the time leading scorers. So you got to throw LeBron in there, bro. But KD, MJ, Wilt, Kareem, Brian, Kobe, hella good scorers, bro. Nobody did it better. Like you don't know about Jordan. When it comes to getting buckets, nobody did it better than Jordan. That's why many consider him the GOAT. Jordan led the NBA in scoring for a record 10 times. Dang. And with 30.1 points per game. MJ has the highest scoring average out of any player in NBA history. He's also the That's best tough. player in the playoffs. With I'm, bro, having a better scoring average than Wilt Chamberlain is insane. I think they both at like 30.1, but like Jordan is just like slightly higher. He got like an extra decimal or something like that, bro. Scoring average it's crazy. Any player in NBA history. He's also the best scorer in the playoffs with 33 and a half points Damn. per game. In the playoffs? Second on this list with 32 and a half points per game. Okay, Luca. And the only other player averaging more than 30 in the playoffs. But if you think that's amazing, wait for some of Jordan's other stats, which are truly unbelievable. Out of 179 games in the playoffs, Jordan scored less than 20 points just six times. Oh my God. They said 179 games, if I remember correctly, bro. Honey scored less than 20 and 6. Oh my god, yeah, that, yeah, that nigga's the goat, bro. Undis like, I, I, like, bro. Every time I watch one of these videos, bro, I just be like, bro, what? Jordan was really that unstoppable, bro. Games oh my god. In the playoffs, Jordan scored less than 20 points just six times, and he is the only player never to score less than 15 points in a playoff game. Oh my Jordan god. played 37 playoff series and outscored every single teammate and opponent he ever faced, except one. It was Terry Cummings in 1985. That's tough. And he scored just one more point than Michael, who was still in his rookie season. Oh my god. In the 1960s, when the pace of the game and the number of attempted shots was the highest in NBA history, Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, and Rick Barry averaged 40 points per game in a playoff series once. And Bernard King did it one time in the 80s. Damn. Jordan is the only player to average 40 plus points per game for an entire playoff series more than once. And better yet, he's done it five times. Oh my God. One of those came in the 1993 40? NBA. Bro, bro, averaging 40 in the playoffs five times, bro. And they said only like three other players did it once. Y'all don't understand how great that is, bro. <laughs> Yeah, what? He's done it five times. In the playoffs, that's where everybody elevate their game, bro. Teams bringing their best. And in the playoffs, bro, it ain't like the regular season where you see somebody twice in 80 games, bro. This is the a playoff series, bro. A seven-game series. So they studying you, watching film on you, like, bro. The fact they can't adjust, they they can't even adjust to you. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Like 1993 NBA Finals against the Phoenix Suns. When Jordan averaged 41 points per game, which is the highest scoring average in finals history. Dang. In 1988 against the Cavaliers, his airness had back-to-back 50-point -back games and is the only player in history with this accomplishment in the playoffs. Jordan averaged 45.2 points per game in that series. Oh, my. Second God. highest mark for any player in a single playoff series. Second Jerry highest? Jerry West was first? 
the logo best average 46.3 points in the 1965 western finals but he was shooting 35 times per game Dang. mj has 850 point playoff performances which is the most ever as well as the most 40 point and most 30 point games in the postseason to further put mj i ain't gonna lie bro MJ, i might i might have to say mj the best scorer ever bro the fact that he's doing all this in the playoffs is what makes it even better bro a lot of people in the playoffs they game they just it's not the same bro yeah, a lot of players elevate in the playoffs, but bro is averaging 33 in the playoffs, bro. Oh, my God. Boring superiority into context. LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Will Chamberlain have put up 50 in the playoffs a combined seven times. Some of the best scores in NBA history, like KD, Iverson, and Harden, don't have as many 40-point playoff games altogether as Jordan has by himself. Michael entered the league in 1984, and by 1991, he had scored 40 on every team in the NBA. Oh by the end of 1992, he scored 50 on every team in the Eastern Conference. And I he scored 50 on every team in the Eastern Conference. Bro was a problem, bro. Out of 930 games he played for Chicago, Jordan led the Bulls in scoring 793 times, which is more than 85%. During his entire career with the Bulls, Jordan scored less than 10 points only once. And that happened when he was nursing his ankle after a long recovery. And he played just 16 minutes, scoring 8 points. MJ is the oldest player to lead the NBA in scoring at the age of 35. And is the only guy who scored 40 points in a game past the age of 40. He also holds the all-time record. he scored 40 at 40? God. Recorded free throws made in one half. Sinking 20 freebies in the second half against the Heat in 1992. Man, somebody did that today. Second, 20 free throws in one half. Y'all be calling him a free throw merchant, all type of stuff, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Sinking 20 freebies in the second half against the Heat in 1992. One of the most fascinating stats is that Jordan is the only player in NBA history who has more 40 point games than games where he scored less than 20 points. Bro, he had what? 73 games with 40 points and only 146 under 20. Yo. For example, LeBron has played 235 games where he failed to reach 20 points and only 70 games where he scored 40 or more. Okay, I know what you're thinking. LeBron is more of a passer, not a pure scorer. Yes, but if we look at Kobe, who was the most similar player to Michael, we'll see that he had 405 games with Damn. 20 and 122 games with 40 plus. So when it comes to getting buckets, Jordan was really in a class of his own, but he isn't considered the GOAT just because of his scoring. Jordan is one of the best defensive guards Thanks. ever, if not the best. On top of winning a scoring title in 1988 with 35 points per game and winning the MVP that year, he was also named a Defensive Player of the Year, something that nobody has ever done in a single season. His 131 blocks in the 1988 season are the most block shots ever recorded by a guard. And he's the only guard with multiple seasons with more than 100 rejections. Tough. He also still holds the all-time record for the most block shots ever by a guard. I mean, that's, oh, that's another thing that makes him the GOAT for real, bro. It's that, that same intensity he got on offense, bro. He bring it on defense, too, bro. A lot of players can't do that, bro. Like, MJ was exerting, like, maximum effort, energy on offense and defense every game, bro. It's crazy the fact that he was still, his body was that good. He was still averaging 30, led the league in scoring 10 times while playing that type of <laughs> elite defense, bro, every year, bro. Even in his old days, he was still playing defense, bro. 893. MJ has six seasons with more than 200 steals, which, you guessed it, is another NBA record. Tough. He's also the first player to record 200 steals and 100 blocked shots in a season. In 1988, <laughs> in the first half of the game against Boston, Jordan stole the ball eight times, which is another NBA record that still stands today. It's almost comical how one player stole the ball so many times in such a short time, almost like he was playing with middle schoolers and not NBA professionals. With nine selections, 12 defensive first Team. Jordan is tied with Kobe, Garnett, and Gary Payton for most all time. And and they done both and all three of those players done play like twenty seasons, bro. That's the crazy thing. Jordan only played fifteen. And nine out of fifteen years he was first team all defense. In nineteen eighty nine the Bulls lost their starting point guard. Coach Doug Collins made Jordan play the point. For between 11 March 11th games. And April 23rd of 1989, Jordan averaged 30.4 points, 10.7 assists, and 9.2 rebounds per Tough. game. While playing point guard, he notched 10 triple doubles in 11 games. In the 1989. Hey, that's for y'all that say Jordan can't pass, bro. Man, bro played point guard. 10 triple doubles in 11 games. 
You really say 30, 10, and 9? Come on, bro. Postseason. Jordan had seven games with double digit assists. In comparison, Kobe Bryant had only nine double digit assist games in his entire playoff career. If we compare him to LeBron, Jordan is typically viewed as the superior scorer, whereas James is praised for his passing and all-around game. The truth lies somewhere in between, and both were more than capable of playing like the other. If Jordan wanted to pass, he proved that he could have been a full-time point guard if he wanted to. He preferred to score the ball, and the same is true for LeBron, who proved that he can be unstoppable when he decides not to share the rock. When it comes to advanced statistics, Jordan and LeBron are very evenly matched at the top. However, Facts. Jordan has a slight advantage in most categories. MJ is the all-time leader in player efficiency rating at 27.91, ahead of LeBron, who has a PER of 27.34. The same is true for player efficiency rating in the playoffs, where Jordan is slightly ahead of George Mikan and James. Damn. Michael is also the all-time NBA regular season and playoff leader in win shares per 48 minutes, box plus minus, and usage rating. Hey, the fact that Jordan's even the best in advanced stats is, is tough, bro. <laughs> Second to LeBron in value over replacement player. When he was a rookie, Mike was the only player ever who managed to lead his team in four different categories. Points, assists, rebounds, and steals. And if you're wondering what he did to fuel his body, he always ate the same thing, approximately four hours before the game. Jordan's pre-game meal consisted of a 23-ounce New York steak, a side of mashed potatoes, or baked potatoes if it was not available. And a salad on the side served with some ginger ale. At the beginning of the ale night, eats. Jordan first started drinking. He drank only after the games, but then soon started knocking them back before the games as well. According to former NHL star Jeremy Roenick, he and Jordan once played 36 rounds of golf, drinking a dozen beers each throughout the day. Dang. That wouldn't be a problem. Jordan didn't have a game against the Cavaliers that night. Roenick joked that he was going to put money on the Cavs that night thinking that Mike must be drunk and exhausted from playing golf all day. Jordan then bet him that they're going to win by more than 20 points and that he's going to score over 40. Mike being Mike, Roenick gave him all the motivation he needed. Of course, he won the bet. The Bulls won by 24, and Jordan scored 44 points. That's tough. Bro scoring 40 while drunk and, and playing, playing golf all day. Bro different, I ain't gonna lie. Before he is, even when he was half drunk, MJ was still the best player in the world. Hey, but that was a W video, bro. I can't even lie, man. Another video that's proven why Jordan is the GOAT, bro, and why that gap is just so wide, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's going to take a minute for a player to pass Jordan, bro. LeBron getting there. If LeBron can magically get two more rings, then I might give him that GOAT claim again. I ain't going to lie. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. You know what y'all want me to react to next. I got y'all, bro. And I'm out.